Uh, this is John Black Super Chemist on my John Black Super Teacher channel. It's going to be a short video just showing you how, like, if you're looking for a certain chemical, how do you find it in a product? You know what I mean? First thing you do is look up on top where it says Google Household Products Database. Punch that into Google, and what will happen is it'll be probably the second or the first uh, option. Okay, and you'll know it's the option by look at the second group of stuff ingredients, NIH household material, safety data sheet, search products, advanced search, ingredients info. The one that has that on it, that's where you want to go. That's what you want to click on Google. That that option that has those six things below it. Okay, so you click on there, household data products database. And you'll see this next thing here, right? Home products manufacture ingredients. That's the t that's their home page. Um, you click on ingredients, and then you'll see next you, you'll have A, B, C. You have the alphabet written there. Now let's say, because my buddy's looking for toluene. So let's say we're looking for toluene. I click on T and for toluene. I scroll down to where it says toluene, and I click on it. Now you notice the next thing, that's what they'll show you. They'll show you products, a list of products that and their brand name. And then they'll show you the category, like maybe arts and crafts or automotive or whatever. Uh, the form it comes in, like is it liquid, is it aerosol, is it, you know, what is it? Uh, and the percentage of the toluene in that product. If it says 30%, it says 20%, 0.1, whatever. <clears throat> then you can click on the brand name for the MSDS to see the percentages of other things that are in that same product, you know what I mean? To see if it's viable to even try to get the toluene out, you know what I mean? It might not be worth it, even if there's a lot in there. It might be mixed up with something that's hard to, you know, separate. <laughs> um, and then you just move on to the next product that has a high percentage. You click on the product name, and you see, is it easy to get out? Is there, you know, is there stuff that I can separate it easily from you know if it's just alcohol let's say it says methanol and uh, let's just say it says methanol that's nice and easy you can get it out you know put some water in it soaks the methanol up and you can put it in a sip funnel but it might say that there's you know it's 90 percent xylenes and uh, you know or the lowest boiling xylene so it's even closer to toluene you're going to skip over that maybe and say I don't want it I don't want to deal with that you know, and that's basically the whole thing of how you, you know, I didn't know about this when I was, you know, before, uh, but now that I'm on a computer, this is how I look stuff up. So if I wanted something else, I wanted, uh, you know, uh, sodium acetate, I'd go to, <coughs> to that site, I'd hit ingredients, and I would hit on S instead of T. Scroll down to sodium acetate. Click on it, and then it'll give you a list of brand names. And I want a high percentage, you know what I mean? So I'll click on the ones that have high percentages. Now, not all of these, like I I looked up uh, set of aldehyde. Set of aldehyde, they give you like 10 products. All of them have like 1% or less. You know, they're fractions of a percent. So I'm not saying that it just tells everything. Obviously, it doesn't, you know. And some stuff, you know, they just don't put in products that you would buy at the store. You know what I mean? So you, you won't be able to find it. But uh, it is a very handy, useful tool. Um, this is, I think, it has gov in the name of the address. So, you know, if you're doing something illegal, you might not want to go there. But it doesn't even look like a government site. It looks like uh, you'd have to go there to see. But anyways, this... This is the end of the video. I hope you all have a good day, and always remember, science is great.